more, but first, last night, 47,000 Israelis gathered in Tel Aviv's Hayer Korn Park for a Radiohead concert. Not just a concert, but the band's longest gig in 11 years. It's also the first time in 17 years that Radiohead performed in Israel in defiance of calls by boycott Israel activists to cancel the show. I-24 News culture correspondent Maya Margit, you were there. Yep. And you're dressed up just like me today, I have to say. Well, we can admit to everyone that we color coordinated our <laughs> wardrobes today, you know, specifically to discuss Radiohead. Adasia <laughs> Onyu also here with us on the set, but we'll go to Radiohead uh, first. Maya, I read some reviews this morning, and all of them were very positive, I have to say. What's your takeaway from this concert? Listen, it was a very special set. I feel like they really put in all their effort, Radiohead, into this concert. Um, it was the longest set in 11 years, as you mentioned, and I think that's because Radiohead Radiohead's roots in Israel go back really far. In 1993, when their song Creep came out, their single, it wasn't really popular elsewhere, but then in Israel, uh, there was a DJ who played it all the time. You have Kutna. And after he played it so many times, the song really became popular. And in Israel, they invited Radiohead to come and perform. And it was the first time overseas that Radiohead was performing outside of the UK and Europe. Mm -hmm. So it was a very kind of special event back then. And I think they have very fond memories of Israel as well as because the guitarist, DJ, you know, Johnny Greenwood is mm -hmm. married to an, an Israeli, a Sharona Katan. So there's a very deep connection with Israel. And I think they I really put in... This. I have they, to admit, all right. <laughs> they really put in as much effort as they could, I think, into the concert. And it was amazing. It was a blend of old hits, you know, crowd pleasers, and their new songs from the Moon Shaped Pool album. What was your Very favorite nice. song in this concert? I, I honestly could not choose because I really liked the blend of new and old. I really liked hearing their old hits, and I really enjoyed hearing the new things as well, which were a lot more kind of uh, fast-paced and abstract. Very, very, very good songs. And we cannot overlook another aspect behind this mm -hmm. uh, concert. It was very much overshadowed by a boycott controversy. You know, in the past, we've seen performers like Lauren Hill, for example, uh, who canceled her performance here, here in Israel because of the BDS movement. And uh, Radiohead, they're not the type of a band to do so. Um, right. I have to ask you, was there any political reference during that concert? It was very interesting because Tom York barely spoke during the entire concert. But then at the end, before the last <laughs> song they did two encores okay this was a very long concert before the very last song which was karma police uh, Tom York said a lot of stuff was said about this but in the end we played some music and then he played karma police which I felt like was kind of a subtle jab at the BDS and at Roger Waters because in the Could song be. you know they say this is what happens when you mess with us so I felt like there was kind of a subtle jab there but they didn't really listen to the BDS calls and they were very adamant and vocal about their opposition to the boycott too and one more interesting thing, um, another move by this band was to cancel the traditional golden ring or golden circle that we know um, it's made for people who want to purchase a bit more expensive ticket to That's guarantee right. their front line to the stage. Uh, why did they cancel it though? So the golden ring is... profit after all. That's right. It's, it's very expensive tickets that allows you to be very close to the stage. It's VIP tickets, if you will. So they decided that they want this concert to be for their fans. So the people who arrived the earliest to the venue were able to get the closest to the stage unless of course you push your way forward which some people did push their way forward to the stage you know there were 47,000 people so some people were very excited but they got rid of it they wanted to make it more about equality and about allowing uh, all their fans to enjoy the concert as much as they could and as mm -hmm. close as possible to the as stage. I know you you weren't as close as possible right you I got as, as convenient close as, I could. as possible <laughs> yes all right and thank you